I work in a local airline here in Kenya. Um, my role basically involves transfer of passengers from one point to the next. Yes, so I make sure everyone makes to their destination. We met in a in a matatu. <laughs> yes, um, I was going to a meeting that was cancelled. Yes, and I couldn't make jam, so I went and got into a matatu. It was around six p.m. in the evening, and um, my main concern was, depending on where the stage was, I didn't want to sit next to someone who, I don't know nagging or <laughs> not so clean <laughs> I'm a bit of a, of a neat flick so uh, I looked and I saw oh that gentleman in a white shirt and I just went sat there no <laughs> intentions nothing I just wanted to sit next to a clean person probably smelling nice person yeah <laughs> and that's how our five years began this day was <laughs> awesome uh, at work <clears throat> Of course, it was way back when we were still, you know, young, struggling. So uh, I left work around 5.45, quarter to 6. And then um, there's a stage next to our workplace. So <laughs> I got into an almost empty matatu. Uh, sat there with my earphones on. Um, and on the side of the, you know, window, I saw a beautiful lady. So I was wishing she should just come inside the matatu and, you know, Maybe I'll have a shot. So I acted as if I'm, I hadn't seen her, but at the corner of my eye, she came, uh, got into the matatu. I was crossing fingers, she comes and sits next to me. All the other seats in the matatu were not taken. So she came straight <laughs> and she sat next to me. I, I, I was lost of words. Of course, I didn't want to look as if, uh, you know, I'm really pushy. I just want to be a gentleman. So. She told me, hey, I removed the earphone and then uh, she asked me to open the window because she wasn't, you know, breathing well of some sort. So I opened the window, I asked her if she was okay, then she was okay. So uh, we moved uh, almost the place of alighting. Uh, we alighted before uh, the main stage. So she was a bit pissed off with the driver. So I asked her to just calm down. Uh, we'll just walk, probably walk together. So we alighted together on the matatu and then uh, there was a really big ditch ahead of us and she was wondering how she's going to jump. So I offered my hand uh, if, you know, I asked her if I can uh, help. She said, yeah, okay, but she looked a bit, you know, reluctant. So we jumped and then we boarded the next matatu of which coincidentally we were leaving almost the same place, actually a few hundred meters away from each other. So where we alighted, there was a, a restaurant. I asked her if, uh, you know, she had a few more ty um, hours so that we can probably catch some <laughs> dinner. She yes, she accepted. So we went for our first dinner the first day. Uh, the rest is history. So who made the first move? Um, you did. <laughs> um, I don't know. I want to put it this way. Um, I had been praying for someone, but of course I didn't think in a matter to really. No, that's, that's, I work well, one airline, kind. <laughs> kind of need to meet someone somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, not in a matatu, but yeah. God had his own plans. 